Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, Kenesha. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, your girl's been gone for a while, but I'm back because like I said, trendsetters, Louis Vuitton, Mirakami, I heard the rumor months ago and now we know it's true. So I wanna get into what all is going on because let me tell you, I saw some amazing pieces that I wanna talk about. And if you have been saving your coin like I have been doing over the past few months, then you may be ready to pick up some of these pieces. So pre-orders open uh, tomorrow here in the US for me. I'm in the Philadelphia area, in the Philadelphia region. I understand that there's different pre-order dates all around the country and all around the world. So that's what it is for me. So with that being said, if you are new here, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome back, my doves. Okay, so trendsetters, like I said, Louis Vuitton Mirakami is a collection that is near and dear to all Louis Vuitton lovers, collectors. If you really appreciate this brand, okay, this is not about following the trend. This is a 25 year celebration of the collection, which is the re-release, that's why it's here. And they brought back several pieces from before in different variations, obviously at higher prices. We see you later time. And they also brought back some new items that I want to talk about because there's one that I actually really think is cute. With that being said, are you ready? Are you ready, set? Okay, let's go. So the first item that, and I'm going through this like little pre-order link that my client advisor sent me. So I'll show you guys like the pieces that I'm talking about and I'll show you the ones that I selected that I am interested in. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm buying, but that I'm interested in. So the first that's come up is this Nano Speedy. Now listen guys, it's $2,270 and you know how I feel about price inflation by the designer brands. I don't care for it. So that being said, even though it's cute, I did not select this piece. And the reason why is because I was really looking for a little bit more bling for my $2,000 in this little nano bag, okay? Moving on to the Rosalie coin purse. This is really cute. They have it with the white and the pink interior. And I love a hot pink interior. I love the multicolor. I missed all of the multicolor from back in the 2000s. And I was one of those people who did not go back and buy any of these pieces, even though I knew this collection was coming. I actually did go back and do the research on some of the, the pieces that are currently out there on the resale market. But I wanted to really see what was coming and just taking a look at some of the things on the resale market versus what was coming, I decided that if I was going to do anything, it would probably be to just buy something from this new collection. I was not really seeing things on the vintage market that really stood out to me where I wanted to drop the same amount of money on a 20 year old piece as on a newer piece. Like if that makes any sense. Now, some of the arguments people were making about the vintage market is, girl, those bags are everything. They are over the top. They got all the bling, which I cannot lie. I do agree. I saw all those shiny gold studs, the black and the white speedies and all the different kinds of bags that they came out with back then were definitely maximalist okay that was the 2000s they were definitely maximizing all the bling and the gold hardware and the chains and the studs I mean, it was over the top it reminds me of is gucci now like gucci in their maximalist day that was louis vuitton back then in the 2000s so don't mind my little sidebar but yeah i feel like if i was gonna spend coin i wanted to just do it now and see if there was really anything out there that caught my eye. So the next piece that actually caught my eye is this little all in BB. It's so cute, isn't it? You know, it just reminds me of Hermes's Picotin, which is a bag that is coming back around for a lot of fashion lovers and handbag lovers is the Picotin. And even in that brand, Dress Up Your Purse, that people use when I think, in my mind, the way I consider it is testing the waters for a more expensive level luxury item, shall we say, that is in similar design and style, shall we say, to a current luxury brand. Yeah. 
I've definitely seen people sort of using that Pinkerton style, dress up your purse bag, okay? So the all in BB is like that for me. Now, what makes it even better, you guys, is you guys look. It comes with a strap extension, which is amazing. When you think of how they gave us the little pochette hills and we were all like, but how do we make it longer if we want to make it short, it can fit over our shoulder or wear crossbody? No problem with this little cutie. They give you the option to do so and it comes with a little pouch inside. Did you see that little detail? I bet you all missed that. It comes with its own little cute little pouch like similar to the next bag the carry all pm which i have a little tutorial out on how to tie this bag i'm tired of you guys saying but we can't really see what you're doing you gotta slow it down you gotta like watch it in slow motion anyway the carry all also comes with its own little cute pochette inside and it's gonna be multicolor. now i didn't go for the carol again because I really wish that Louis Vuitton would put a zipper on the PM size, okay? And let me tell you something, I'm gonna manifest it because wait until we get to a bag that I talked about forever needed feet, wait till we get to that bag that now has feet, okay? I'm just gonna wait for the carry-all PM to have a zipper one day, but $3,450, did I make a face? You didn't catch that is exorbitant it's definitely over my budget even though i love the carol i just don't think i want to spend that much money on this beautiful bag but it is beautiful okay go for it so some of the next items are the bandeaus the multicolor square scarves Attrape-Rêve is a beautiful smelling perfume i love it's one of my favorite by louis vuitton it looks like they've got the flowers on there They've got a headband if you want to go back into your 90s girly days and wear your little headbands to accessorize. They've got that. They've got a reversible 30 millimeter belt, which quite honestly, I think is beautiful. It's got this little D ring on it. Now, what I am not sure about is buying it in white because a belt is one of those items that shows a lot of wear very fast. So if you're going for a belt, go for the black. The next items are the trainers. Now these are $1,600 trainers. Now what do we think? They're cute, aren't they? But honestly, the thing about the multicolor collection and the thing about luxury brands in general, a little bit of a sidebar, if you're really gonna do this, do it right. You can't rock from head to toe designer. I can't stand when I see people, and I'm talking all variations of shades of people do this. And I'm talking whether you have money or not, okay? Do you know what I'm saying? We have seen these people wear the designer monogram logo head to toe. I just don't think that's the look for us guys. Trendsetters, that's not our look. So if you're gonna get the sneakers, you can't do like the little headband in the bag and the sneakers because it's like, it's so overpowering. What is the color of the outfit that you're wearing underneath? Is it gonna be one of these colors, pink, turquoise? You can only choose one. Is it gonna be white, black? You see what I mean? Because the accessories have taken over. And I think that is the thing about multicolor is probably less is more if you're really going for this collection. Now, moving on, the Speedy Ventilator 25 has the corners on it, has feet, okay? If you're looking for a Speedy that you do not have in your collection and you want one with feet, you have limited options. This would be one of them. The black would be another. The Speedy Milasime would be another. And I think that's it. There's not a lot of versions of the Speedy that have feet. Now this one is $3,200. So less than the carryall less than the side trunk that's coming up but definitely higher price speedy in my opinion and i do have a selected because i just was trying to figure out you know if this is something that i might be interested in but 
I'm definitely on the fence with this because I don't know if I really want the bright color of the multicolor as I'm walking around out there. Like I said, it's very overpowering, but then it might be the only multicolor piece that I would wear with a low key outfit. Or is that the reason why so many people like the Nano Speedy is because it's much more casual. It's much more of like a smaller bag on the radar, if you will. And I feel like even though the 25 is not a large bag, it's still bigger than the Nano. Like it still draw, will draw attention. And honestly, I'm just not sure if I'm interested in that. I'm not really someone who likes a lot of attention. I like designer bags because I just like them. But if you've paid attention to my style over the years, it's definitely always still been rather neutral and not geared around like trying to attract attention. Like the Cousin BB with that large gold chain, the Cousin bags in general with all of that bling has never really been my style. I look at the Speedy and I do feel like it's well put together. It's got all the vachetta that we could ask for. It's got this new bow detail symbolizing this year's collection, the newest collection of the remake. It's got a lock it's going to come with and then it's got these gold hardware corner details. So it's missing the pouch on the front from the past that I actually really like. I think having extra pockets more is better for Louis Vuitton bags. So I do miss that detail. You do get it on the Keep All 45 that they are releasing, but nevertheless, I am on the fence with the Speedy and that's quite a surprise. Now moving on to the Rami card holder. It's beautiful. It has that beautiful fuchsia pink interior and the koala bear pull chain tab, which is awesome. I'm not really into like the bandeau. So we've got the square scarves and then they've got the bandeaus. And those are some of the lesser expensive items if you're looking just to get a piece of the collection is, you know, go with some of the accessories and SLGs. They also have the cosmetic pouch PM and as well as in the GM. I really like the GM again because one of my sponsors, Nightmare Luxury Collection. If you're really interested in pulling off a classic Louis Vuitton look with multicolor without overextending yourself into the $3,000 range of the Speedy or the $4,000 range of the On The Go or the $3,400 range of the Carry All then you should definitely take a look at Imer Luxury Collection because she has some very nice toiletry pouch encasements that hold your cosmetic pouch and gives it the look of a bag. And it's something that I found to be very versatile and complementary to my life and as well as my financial lifestyle at this point in terms of not wanting to overextend myself financially but still wanting to have the look and feel of a bag and being able to use these accessories and these encasements allows me to do that. So I do have a discount from Imer Luxury Collection. If you would like to go over and take a look at some of the items that she has on her site, please use my discount code Kenesha10 for 10% off any of her products. So I just wanna thank Imer for being another collaborative sponsor with me. Definitely go and check out her luxury collection of creative bag accessories. Okay, so back to the video. So you have the Rosalie coin pouch all in fuchsia on the exterior, and then you have the Rosalie coin pouch in the multicolor. So then moving on to back to the bags, the side trunk and the Capucines mini. So I think these are really beautiful, but I definitely was not interested in the side trunk. Even though the side trunk has been a bag that has been very popular amongst a lot of luxury lovers, I really didn't gravitate towards it. Uh, for just some of the design features I just didn't care for. That hanging piece that you actually close the bag with, I didn't like the design look of that. I didn't care for the fact that it didn't have a pocket on the inside, probably because it's a little bit smaller. But what I do like is the four corners and the feet that comes with it. For this design, it's a little too white, all white for me. And I do worry about using that open enclosure, getting it too dirty too soon as a result of it just being all white. So for me, this is a no. Same thing for the Capucines Mini. I don't really gravitate to the Capucines bags either. So you don't really see me talk a lot about the Capucines bag. Moving on to the Pocha SSRs. Now, you guys, I was definitely conflicted. 
I selected it, deselected it, deselected it, deselected it. Why? Because here's the good news. It has this beautiful new fancy gold chain, you know, razzle dazzle, sure. As well as it has the two optional D rings, like the two D ring options to correct to connect more than one hair strap at a time. And I do like that it has like the little studs on the outer fascetta opening. Ah, where do sleep shot always go wrong, you guys? The interior. What did they take away? The pockets. I can't stand price inflation. What do I call this? Shrinkflation? We got higher prices, but we got less pockets inside of this bag. Like, there's not even one pocket inside of this pochette accessoire. And I'm just like, you at least used to give us a slip pocket. What is the deal, Louis Vuitton? No, I'm not spending $2,100 on you. I just literally changed my mind. Yeah. So moving on, have the Jane Notebook, which I thought that's cute. $120 is probably like the best deal you're ever going to find in your life at Louis Vuitton, okay? Get it. And if you like taking lists, making notes, get it, girl, get it. $800 for the Lisa Lala, mm, it's cute, but is it worth $800? I don't know. You guys know how I feel about spending, I don't know, SLG sometimes, I'm just like, just save your money for the bag. Like the Venice, okay? Cause that's $800 if you want the Venice that you could put towards this bag, cause it's $4,300. Is it cute? Yes. But again, it's like the denim Venice, did they make it bigger? <laughs> I feel like with the denim version of the Venice when it came out, it was too tight. This one looks bigger, but I can't really tell. I love the little handle, rolled handle. It just looks really cute. I hate that the straps are non-detachable because sometimes you might just want to sling this baby over you and just wear it with like one strap, but no. The other thing too is I really just don't care for the clasps in there. Like, I mean, clasp it keep it unlocked so you can easily reach in and get what you want. But I don't really think I'm a backpack girl. I feel like I keep failing every time I buy backpacks. I buy them, don't use them for whatever reason, and then end up having to sell them. So is it beautiful? If you're into backpacks, you should definitely consider it. It's so gorgeous, it's so cute. I have a petite mouth, so I'm not really into the flowers. And let me tell you one thing that I'm so happy about with myself is it's really only the multicolor I like. I'm not interested in the cherries or the cherry blossoms. So yeah, I don't know if I'll speak about it unless it's something really cute. Mm, pay attention, take it or leave it. Okay, now we're gonna move into the black version of multicolor where many people have stated Louis Vuitton went left. It went left from here and I hate to say it, but I agree, like honestly, I'm not feeling it, Louis Vuitton. I'm not feeling the black. I mean, you guys, I think we're trying to modernize and give people a lot of probably what you heard on the internet. But these are Hermes consumers, okay? They like black and palladium. Black and silver for you, no. <laughs> it's a hard no. We need the Vachetta on the black sometimes. I think you probably should have gotten this feedback when you released the Speedy Softs earlier in September. Most people, women, gravitated to the Speedy Soft monogram canvas with the Vachetta because the black handles look too masculine. And it does, it still does. I don't like it. And the interior is so, 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 so black. I don't know. They needed to put some pink interior inside there or something. But these Sunset Flat Comfort sandals, oh, they are so adorable. I really like them. They have the belt. Again, it's 530. I would get this belt over the white because belts wear the most. And this one's reversible. So you would have two options of being able to wear it to your heart's content, okay? The Carriol Vibe MM is not vibing with me for $4,300. Not to mention that leather looks tacky. It looks like something that's gonna get sticky and start peeling or, you know, just when the sun hits it, don't leave it in the car on the hot seat on a hot day with the windows up. You understand what I'm saying? You don't know what you're gonna come back to, whether it's cracking or melted to that seat. That's how I feel about this leather. So anyway, moving on. Now, you know what is interesting? I, again, I'm bypassing the Nano Speedy. I don't care for it in black. I actually think it's still cute. It's as cute as the Nano Speedy in white, but the Speedy, 25 in black is definitely not for me. It's not, I'm not vibing with that. But the black trainers over the white, I would go for these. If you're into trainers, these are cute. 
these are hot these are smoking and i know they say the trainer market is on the decline right now but these are still nice that just means if you are buying them just plan to keep them ah, okay plan to keep them then you have the Lou wallet for a thousand one hundred fifty dollars and then you have this new cute little bag that a lot of you guys liked in the poll that i did the handbag east west i don't know why it's just not called whatever that handbag was back then what was that the bowling bag this is the east west version of that now it's four thousand dollars okay i don't care that there's they're shy fifty dollars this is four thousand dollars and i just think that i didn't like the east west version of it i definitely think i just like the normal version of it i wish they had just re-released the normal version of it because that is the bag that i probably would have bought over the speedy the speedy is 3200 and this east west bag is almost four thousand eight hundred dollars more Mm. it doesn't even come with a lock it doesn't even come girl it doesn't even come with a lock see the speed doesn't come with the outside pocket it comes with the lock same little bow detail four quarters it's a little bit taller has the same interior pocket this is going to come with an exterior pocket interior pocket those four corners no lock though Louis Vuitton. still that little bow and they both come with the crossbody strap so do you want to pay 800 dollars more for an outside pocket oh the key pouch for 435 in black now i imagine this is probably one of those pieces that's going to go fast but honestly i gotta say eh. i think if someone wants this it's like definitely like the piece to get to have it as part of your collection but even for me i'm just like looking at some of these black pieces struggling like i don't know if i really want it i do like the passport cover in black okay not necessarily in white because again it's going to be one of those hard wearing easily worn pieces that you're using if you're really using it the way that i think it should be used which is more like not as a passport but more as like a wallet or you know just if you're gonna keep your passport in there like i just don't know people who really walk around with their passports you know what i'm saying like and then you're gonna pull out this flashy multicolored thing that's got your flashy passport in it too i just don't see that happening i don't even know why they keep calling it the passport cover because honestly does anybody use it as a passport cover if you're traveling I thought people were afraid of being targets. I don't know. Moving on to the Keepo Bandolier 45. I love this. It's $5,000. I do not love that price, but I love the corners. I love that it has a pouch on it. I love that it has the lock. It has a little bow. It has the luggage tag. It has everything. You should buy it. You want it? Buy it. The Vanity Chain Pouch is cute. $2,960, $3,000. I don't have any Vanity bags, but this one is cute because it's like a little bit flat. You know, like it's like a little bit more narrow. It's not that bulky bag that's going to stick out on the side. So I actually think if you like this, it's kind of cute. And it's got a, like a little chain with it and a little strap with it. This is a really good option. Yeah, I like that one. Now, the on the go is a bag that I said and manifested and Louis Vuitton would eventually put feet on. And look, there it is. There it is. It's beautiful, is it not? Can you believe I don't want it? It's, it's just too big i love the on the go i wish that last denim run had had feet on it i also wish the on the go had a zipper and as a result i feel like one of my wishes have come true here but this is not the bag for me i don't have this bag in my collection i don't know if i will ever have this bag in my collection no matter how much i look at it and i say oh you're beautiful <laughs> Buy it if you love it, but I think I'm bypassing. And then so many people love the flat mules from back in the day, but I'm just like, they're gonna get so dirty. I don't, mm, do you? <laughs> Moving on, they've got the Kusan PM. They've got a whole bunch of bag charms. Now I did select the little card holder because I think out of everything, if I was gonna get one piece from this collection, this would be it. It's like that sunset collection Louis Vuitton did last summer. I can only handle, I think, small batches of this really sweet flavor of Louis Vuitton at a time. And I think that's what I'm struggling to digest is I really thought I might want a ton of multicolor. But then like I'm really looking at it feeling kind of like it's overpowering my senses and that I really only might like it in small doses. I find that to be very interesting how I'm feeling and I'm really happy that I was able to have pre-order access to this collection so I could take my time and think about what if anything I really want from this collection because honestly I think this is like 
the collection that people feel nostalgic about. Like I feel like that because I grew up in that era. But now I'm just like, I don't know if I feel I want all these pieces anymore because I'm 40 now, I'm not 20. So this is definitely for, I feel like, a younger age group. They're for people who might like those flavors of the rainbow. And I'm like, okay, I don't really do a lot of jewelry, so you're not gonna catch me buying any of these bracelets. I really slowed down on buying a lot of SLGs. So, and even bags. So I really feel really pleased with my progression through this year because there were fluctuations in me going fast and taking it slow. And recently I have really been taking it slow. Even looking now at the high rise bum bag in multicolor, I think this is really cute, but honestly, it just, with this ribbon, it just makes it feel too girly for me. And that bow and the colors, and it's like on the front, like some sort of, gift to be opened, unzipped on my chest. I don't know. I don't really think that I care for this version of the high rise. So that's just my assessment. Even though honestly, I do think it's pretty. I just think it's like a little much. I don't, I can't believe I'm saying that. Some other cute accessories are the pencil pouches. Like I used to in the past think about wanting one of those, but then over the years, I just, didn't buy it. <laughs> just one of those things I used to say in the past, oh, you know, one day. And then just, there's always just been other things I wanted to spend my money on. Now, the Alma BB. I do think I would have bought this bag. Mm -hmm. This cutie patootie. Because I think it would have replaced my need for the speedy, if you know what I mean. It's got the lock, it's got the bow, it's got the studs, it's got the feet. What more can you ask for? The only thing with the Alma for me is I feel like there's only so much I can fit in there and I don't want to be restricted for almost $3,000, basically for $3,000. So for that reason, I just said, mm, I don't know. And they've got the Dauphine Soft GM, which is so gorgeous. It's honestly beautiful. I really love this version of the Dauphine. Out of all the bags, I actually think this one in multicolor is the chicest and the most sophisticated. It's got that beautiful fascetta clasp on the front. The borders are fascetta, the interior microfiber, that zipper interior. The strap, $5,000 is a lot, but I do like it. The Rami Ballerina flats are another classic. Nothing else that comes with like the super flat collection. I'm not really into the panda. I know it's definitely much more animated. Those definitely weren't pieces that I was deep into. The On The Go East West, again, I definitely wonder what this collection in black could have looked like with Vachetta handles. Who knows if there'll be another run for it. Sarah Wallet was one I disliked because I love the Sarah Wallet and my past wallet had to be returned because it cracked. So I would love to be able to get this item if I can, and we will see. I also really love the desk trays as well as the toolbox, if you can believe it. I thought about buying this just to keep on my desk, but unfortunately, I'm just not in a position to be that frivolous with money at this point. But in another life, you know, I probably would have dug into that. I like the multicolor micro pochette key chain. That's really cute as well as the Dragon Keychain XL. It's just canvas that's gonna hang on a bag. And I just like that little extra detail of it just being extra long, something to play with. Like for me, I would be fidgeting with, but it would probably not be something I would want to touch too much if I don't wanna make it dirty. And there's also the toiletry pouch, which again, I would definitely take a look at Eye Mirror Luxury Collection. If you want a piece of this collection, you don't wanna spend Ben a lot, get the toiletry pouch, get an encasement, and get your accessory bag swag on, okay? That's what I would say about the toiletry pouch is it's actually a really great little versatile piece. And I found pairing it with iMirror's encasement 
has just taken my little cosmetic pieces to the next level. Okay, my loves and doves, you have reached the end of this video. I know it was a long one. And I hope if you are with me to the end that you give me some pink heart emojis. Welcome back, Kanisha. Say welcome back. You know, it's good to be back. At least I am trying to come back. I have been going through some rough times personally. And that has been where I've been, has been slowing way down, getting spiritually reconnected to Jesus and just making sure I've got my mind right and not stressed blessed not stressed okay so thank you so much for watching and being subscribed to my channel i want to thank all my members for signing and joining my membership i couldn't believe it when i started to see that i had members so definitely stay tuned if i keep getting members i'm going to start doing maybe some giveaways for you guys just you guys in particular so thanks so much for my members thanks so much for my subscribers thank you for my viewers and my ear hustlers okay Hey trendsetters, I will see you and catch you in the next video. Go and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And until the next time, peace.